Hey folks, Shirley here from Design Files. I wanted to put together a quick video to just go over a small update that the team has made to the mood board editor. Now, the update that I'm referring to is the redesign of the right side panel over here. So when you pop into your Design Files account, it's gonna look a little different. Now, there's a couple of reasons that we actually decided to redesign this right side panel. Originally, we had all of these core categories right here and they were built into the right side panel and you would click on them and they would expand in place. Now, the reason that we've gone ahead and redesigned it is that we were actually running out of space to plan for future updates. So by moving all of these core categories over here to the right side, where they just stack one on top of the other, it opens up a lot more space for us to work with so we can plan for future updates. The other nice thing about this redesign is that because we have shifted these over, it means that you have the full height of this panel to browse search results. So originally when we had those expandable sections in place and you would click on it and it would expand, it would only really let you see about six products at a time. So by now having the full height of this panel, you're going to be able to see a lot more product as you are browsing and it should make the whole browsing and sourcing process much faster for you. Um, it's also going to be really handy, especially if you are working on a laptop or a computer that has a smaller screen size. So this will give you a lot more space to work with. Now, the key thing to know is that we didn't remove any of the sections. They're all over here. So you've got your main uh, or your product library right here. And within your product library, you're going to see that you've got your main library, you've got your project items and you've got your assets. So you still have those three broken down categories within your library. Below that, you've got the products tab, and this is where you would find any of the uh, vendors that Design Files provides. So you can see you've got your drop down list right here. And you would just click on any of those vendors to browse that specific collection, and you can search within it. Below that, you've got your empty room image library. So if you want to just go ahead and grab a, back, a backdrop image, you can. You've got your text library here, your graphic elements, and then below that, you've got your paint color library as well. And when you click into the paint color library, you'll see the uh, individual collections that are available to you. Click into any of those. And then of course you can uh, just browse by paint color name or by code, or you can just go ahead and browse and drag uh, paint swatches out onto your design board. Now, the last thing that I wanted to touch on is that um, you can close down this panel at any time if you want more workable space by just clicking on the selected icon. So that'll just close down the whole panel and you can open it up by clicking on any of them, close it by clicking again. So again, if you are on a smaller uh, screen size, that will give you the opportunity to close things down so you have more workable space as you are building out your mood board designs. And that about covers it. So uh, definitely jump into your Design Files account, give that new update a try. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.